This is AQA A-Level Chemistry. It's a required practical skills question on the topic of RPA2. And I'm going to recommend you pause on the question, have a go at it for yourself, and then review. So let's begin by looking at the question. It's all on screen at the moment. And when you're ready, let's go on to look at the answers. So the question is about enthalpy changes. We've got ethanoic acid reacting with sodium hydroxide, and we are told that there is an enthalpy change of negative 56.1 kilojoules per mole. We've also got volume and concentration of ethanoic acid, volume and concentration of sodium hydroxide. Assuming they both have the same initial temperature, and a density of one gram per centimeter cubed, and a specific heat capacity of 4.18 joules per Kelvin per gram, we need to work out the temperature rise in this circumstance. So let's look at what we can do. First of all, I'm gonna work out my moles of ethanoic acid. And I've got here a concentration, two moles per decimeter cubed. I'm gonna multiply that by the volume, which is 25, but I'm dividing that by a thousand. And I'm doing that because I need to convert my volume into decimeters cubed. That allows me to work out that I've got 0.05 moles of ethanoic acid. Now from there, I'm going to move on and I'm going to calculate the heat energy that has been released. So I know that I would get 56.1 kilojoules per mole released. But I didn't have 56.1 kilojoules per mole. I didn't have one mole. I've only got 0.05 moles. So I'm going to multiply the 56.1 by 1,000 to convert it to joules. And then I'm going to multiply it by 0.05 so I know how many joules of energy were released by the sample that we had. That takes us to a value of 2805 joules. I've now got a Q value. Q is MC delta T. I'm not actually calculating Q. I've already got it. I'm calculating delta T. So I rearrange it. Delta T is Q divided by M multiplied by C. My Q value 2805 divided by 50. And the 50 comes from the sum of the volumes of the two solutions. So 50 centimeter cubed with a density of 1, 50 grams. And I'm multiplying that by 4.18, which is the value that's been provided here for specific heat capacity. That tells me, takes me to a delta T value of plus 13.4 degrees C. Okay, from there, let's move on and take a look at B. A student recorded the temperature of aqueous ethanoic acid in a polystyrene cup for three minutes. At the fourth minute, the reaction took place, sodium hydrogen carbonate was added, the mixture was stirred, and we carried on then recording the temperature from five minutes for several minutes onward. The measurements have all been plotted. A line of best fit has been shown for the temperature before the reaction has taken place. And you have got to add an appropriate line of best fit on the graph and then find the temperature change at the time of mixing. The time of mixing being four minutes. Now, I'm going to take my line of best fit and I'm going to extend it back and you can see that curve that's going there. It's a reasonable curve, so it's going to be measured for whether I get my temperature change based on my graph. You will notice I am not including this reading. The temperature was still dropping at this point. So we only include this curve where the temperature has started to increase. Once I've done that, I find out what the difference is at four minutes. If I take a look here, I can see that 17.2 and it's gone down to 11. So for my reading here, I've got a change of 6.2 degrees C. That's the temperature it's gone down by. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening and goodbye.